Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this impossible triangle in Illustrator. All right, make sure that you're on a stroke. Click on the stroke, select the color. Gonna go with black. Um, from here, go to the rectangle, long click and select the star tool. Press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. As you can see, we've got a star at the moment. So if you press the down arrow, as you can see, it's gonna simplify it. It is going to remove the spikes. So right now we got a triangle. If I press the upper arrow, it's gonna add more spikes, you know? So we wanna simplify it until we got a perfect triangle. Press and hold shift, so it's gonna move it perfectly in place. From here, press and hold alt, drag it to the right. Also press shift, so you isolate it. I'm gonna drag it somewhere around this point. Now, I'm gonna select the pen tool. I'm gonna click here where they intersect. Click, press and hold shift, create a line like this. And now I'm gonna create a new copy of this triangle. Uh, I'm gonna press and hold Alt to drag it and drag it where they intersect here perfectly because I added that line with the pen tool. Now I'm gonna remove this line, I'm gonna zoom out and it's gonna look some like this. So, okay, so now I'm gonna select the direct selection tool which is located right here. I'm gonna copy these two lines and press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Uh, I'm gonna press Ctrl G to group them. I'm gonna select a new color for it. I'm gonna go with uh, magenta and I'm gonna place it somewhere around here. I'm gonna eyeball it, I won't go perfect right now. All right, so from here, we're gonna create a new copy on top. So press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F, or you can go to edit and paste in front. This way it's going to create a new copy on front. And now press and hold Shift, scale it down on there. It's gonna be under this uh, purple line. I'm gonna remove the purple lines. Okay, click on this smaller triangle. Uh, let's select the reflection tool. We got the reflect tool right here. Press and hold Alt and click on this anchor point here uh, where they intersect and make sure to select vertical and click on copy. So now we reflect it perfectly. We're going to do the same thing with the bottom one, but first I'm going to scale this with a rectangle. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to go from here, from this pad to this pad and I'm going to put it here. Same thing I'm gonna do with this, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F with this triangle, press and hold Shift, scale it down until they intersect with this rectangle. I'm gonna remove the rectangle and voila, here we have it. From here, I'm gonna select the pen tool and connect these lines and I'm gonna go round and round, connect, connect, connect. And now we have the first impossible triangle structure, you know, uh, the grid lines. So I'm gonna select them all, right click and group. Okay, from here, I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, press and hold Shift also to isolate it. And I'm gonna go somewhere around here and I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it down. Now I created a new copy. Select both of these, right click, group them and drag this bottom triangle, you know, we're gonna need to put this somewhere around here. So we get this exact perfect triangle here and we're gonna make this perfect. And I'm gonna create a new line with the pen tool. Click on the pen tool, click on this intersection point here. Click, create a line, press and hold shift and that way you create a perfect line. Select this triangle, press and hold shift, select this line also and go up here where's the vertical line top, click. And now we, we align it perfectly. Now remove this line. Okay, select all of these and select the horizontal align center. Now we have a perfect grid system here. Now we're gonna do this in the dirty way. We're gonna cut out with the shape builder. I'm gonna select them all, press and hold shift plus M. Or you can go and select the shape builder tool from the menu. And uh, now we're gonna, you know, unite some of the parts here. So I'm gonna start with this and this is going to be the first shape. This is going to go like this. Now this is the small thing is the internal one. I'm going to connect these. And it should look something like this. Of course, it contains a lot of unnecessary points right now. I'm going to uh, select them all right click on group on group. So basically make sure you ungrouped everything. I'm gonna select this, press and hold shift and select the rest of them. All right, so I'm gonna move this to the right. As you can see, we left with the unnecessary lines. I'm gonna delete these and we can work from there. So basically this is how you make this impossible triangle. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.